people say to study Zen is difficult. <coughs> Uh, in what way? But uh, there is some misunderstanding why uh, it is difficult. Uh, it is not uh, difficult because uh, to sit uh, in cross legged position is hard, or to uh, attain enlightenment. Uh, is hard. But uh, it is hard uh, to uh, keep our, our mind pure and to keep our practice uh, pure uh, in original <coughs> way. then become more and more uh, <coughs> impure. And after then, uh, then school uh, established in uh, China. It is a development of uh, Zen, but uh, at the same time, it is <coughs> it become uh, impure. But I don't want to talk about <coughs> Chinese Zen or uh, history of Zen uh, this morning. But uh, why I uh, say. I want to talk about why it is difficult it is because just you came here this morning getting up early uh, it's very variable <coughs> experience for you. Just you wanted to come here. It's very valuable. We say Shoshin. Uh, Shoshin means uh, beginner's mind. If we can keep uh, beginner's mind, <coughs> always uh, that is the goal of uh, practice I uh, we recited Prajna Paramita Sutra uh, this morning only once uh, I think you, uh, we decided uh, very well, uh, but what will happen to us if we decide twice, three times, four times, and uh, more, then we will easily uh, lose our uh, <coughs> attitude in reciting, original attitude in reciting Sutta. <coughs> Same thing will happen to us. Why, why you have, you keep your beginner's mind in your If 
Continue to practice one year, two, three years. Oh, a big enough man. We'll have some party. And we will lose the uh, <coughs> limitless meaning of uh, original uh, mind. In beginner's mind, we have many possibilities, but then uh, <clears throat> uh, expert mind, there's not much possibilities. So in our practice, the important thing is <coughs> uh, to resume to our uh, original mind or uh, inmost mind, which we do, we ourselves, even, even we ourselves uh, do not know what it is. This is the most important thing for us. The founder of our uh, school emphasized at this point. We have to remain always beginner's mind. And this is the secret of, the, of uh, Zen and the secret of uh, various uh, practice, practice of flower arrangement, flower, uh, practice of uh, Japanese singing, and various art. <coughs> if we uh, keep our beginner's mind, uh, we uh, keep our uh, precepts. When we lose our beginner's mind, we will lose all the precepts. And <coughs> for, uh, for <coughs> Zen student, the most important thing is not to be uh, dualistic or not um, we should not lose our um, self-satisfied uh, state of mind. Uh, we should not be uh, too demanding, demanding, or we should not be uh, too greedy. Uh, we should, our mind should be always uh, rich and self-satisfied. <coughs> when our mind becomes demanding, uh, when we uh, become longing for something, longing for something, we will uh, 
Violent to our, uh, our precepts, not to kill, not to be immoral, not to uh, steal, or not to tell uh, <coughs> lie, and so on. Those are based on our uh, greedy. When our mind is satisfied, uh, we keep our precepts. When um, we ourselves is always self-satisfied, <coughs> we have our original uh, beauty. And we can practice good. And we are always uh, true to ourselves. <coughs> so the most uh, difficult thing is to keep our uh, beginner's mind in our practice. So, <coughs> if you can keep uh, your uh, beginner's mind forever, you are Buddha. In this point, we should be, our practice should be uh, concentrated. We should practice our way with beginner's mind always. And there is no need to have uh, deep uh, understanding of them. <coughs> Even though you read uh, Zen literature, Uh, you have to uh, keep this beginner's mind. And you have to read it with uh, fresh uh, mind. We shouldn't say, I know what is there. Or, uh, I have attained enlightenment. We should be always <coughs> beginner. Uh, this is very important point. <coughs> and difficult. We should be very, very careful about uh, this point. I was very much impressed um, by your practice uh, this morning. Although uh, your posture uh, was not perfect. <laughs> but the feeling you have here is wonderful. Uh, there's no comparison to it. <coughs> At the same time, we should um, make our effort to keep this uh, feeling uh, forever in your practice. This is a very, very important point. In Japanese art, you know, uh, when you <coughs> master some art, 
you when you become successor of uh, the your master, you will receive some uh, paper <laughs> on which something is written. Uh, no one knows what it is. <laughs> it is very difficult to figure out what it is and to explain what it is. <laughs> but if you have a beginner's mind, it's all right. Thank you very much. If you can say, thank you very much <laughs> from bottom of your heart, that's all right. If you say what it is. <laughs> you have no uh, secret. <laughs> Just you can say thank you very much. <laughs> uh, that's enough. But this is very difficult. <laughs> <coughs> so by your practice, uh, you, we must <coughs> make our beginner's mind more and more. We should appreciate beginner's mind. Uh, this is the the secret of practice, Zen practice.